The month of March marks the beginning of new TSA procedures. The agency announcing it's consolidating its previous pat-down process into one standardized pat-down. And as ABC 7's Bob Yates shows us, the new process is be called, being called more comprehensive and invasive. In the past, if you're going through airport security, it's likely you were screened with a process similar to this. The back of a person's hand touching some part of your body. But now TSA has new regulations saying the screener can use the palm of their hand to screen you. I would feel very violated if that happened to me. Polly Thompson had just deplaned at the Sarasota Bradenton International Airport when ABC7 asked her about the new TSA pat-down process. Yeah, I would not feel comfortable at all, especially as a female. In a memo to local police and airport authorities, the U.S. Transportation Security Administration announced it is doing away with its five-point pat-down process and implementing a more invasive screening. On its website, TSA described the new pat-down saying it may include inspection of the head, neck, arms, torso, legs, and feet. This includes head covering and sensitive areas such as breasts, groin, and the buttocks. The description goes on to say TSA officers use the back of their hand for pat-downs over sensitive areas of the body, and in limited cases, additional screening involving a sensitive area pat-down with the front of the hand may be needed to determine a threat does not exist. Details that have many travelers concerned. We do go through all the, you know, the metal detectors and the uh, screen tests see if you know if we have anything on us to take in um, but the back of the hand can basically do the same thing I mean open palm might be a little evasive towards people that might not feel comfortable you know being touched on but not everyone is in opposition I think it would feel a little violating yes um, but if they feel like that's necessary you know to keep our passengers safe then you know that then perhaps that is the best way to do it whatever keeps me safe is fine with me uh, okay um, I just think it's just something in this day and age, we might have to get used to. Now, TSA says those who want to avoid this more comprehensive screening can do so by being ready to go through security and removing all the items out of their pockets. Bobeth Gates, ABC 7, your Suncoast News.